HDFC Bank, isn't it? Because they reported their earnings over the weekend. And once again, stable set of numbers coming in. Asset quality remains stable. The credit cost is a bit little or uh, slightly lower than the estimates. They are maintaining their commitment towards profitability as well as uh, they, if you look at the gross NPA numbers, they are flat on a quarter on quarter basis. Net NPA number tad bit higher, like two basis points on a quarter on quarter basis. So that's HDFC Bank for you. But the stock is under pressure in today's uh, trading session. So let's bring on both Kunal Bhotra as well as Ashish Maheshwari to get their views when it comes to HDFC Bank. And Ashish and Kunal, good morning to you. Uh, welcome to a brand new week. And Ashish, brand new week. We expected this time around HDFC Bank uh, stock to perform better, uh, given that once again that they have uh, announced a stable set of numbers. But st street doesn't seem to be enthused. Why? I think uh, as far as deposit growth is concerned, there is no uh, a challenge. Their CASA growth is quite robust. Only thing is that uh, loan growth is a matter of concern, number one. That loan growth is not forthcoming uh, uh, like how other banks are performing. And uh, I think the synchronization of LGFC with the LGFC bank will uh, affect this for at least one or two more quarters. So this is one reason that loan growth is uh, worrying invest investors. And second thing, uh, though profit uh, growth we have seen 37% uh, up, but uh, if you see uh, one of provision, then again, uh, there's some pressure there. Again, if I see uh, how they perform in previous quarter, even this quarter number were uh, not that encouraging. And there's the reason uh, we are seeing uh, this reaction. Uh, but going forward, I am optimistic that uh, uh, stock will again start performing because one or two quarter uh, might be like this. But or in long run, as the economy uh, will keep on growing and HDFC Bank, the way they are aggressively entering into MSME and retail segment, I think they will do well. So uh, in my view, 1475 uh, uh, kind of level should be kept in mind uh, for fresh entry into HDFC Bank stock. Okay, that's the fundamental take coming in on HDFC Bank. But Kunal, coming to you, you uh, you have been tracking this counter from the lower levels itself. And just on Friday, we have seen what a great move uh, coming in from HDFC Bank. So at this point in time, and uh, post the support, some bit of a support from the earnings as well, uh, what are the next targets that you have on HDFC Bank? And how is this placed on the charts? So good morning. Uh, good morning. You know, I think it's placed very well for itself because, you know, the recovery for HDFC Bank from the February lows, I think 1368, 70 approximately was the low for HDFC Bank. From there, I think it's done exceptionally well. You know, for a stock which was beaten down more than 200, 300 points, I think from 1700 levels is where the sell-off started off for HDFC Bank in the month of January. For the stock to recover almost uh, two-thirds of that in a matter of subsequent, uh, you know, next one to two months. And that in a very stable or gradual manner, I think is a telltale sign that we could, we've, we've probably, uh, you know, seen the worst behind for HDFC Bank in terms of the price moves. Now, what's actually happening is on the daily charts, the stock is trying to attempt a crossover about the 200-day moving average. We had that attempt in the first week of the month of April. The stock failed to cross over those levels, had a dip down of 50, 60 points, and then back again from sub-1500 levels. The stock is trying back again to try and break past about the 1550 levels. So I believe it's a matter of time that when the stock scales past about this critical moving average, you should see a resumption of strong uptrend for the stock. So, so far, it's a very good recovery, but that would probably translate into a very strong uptrend going forward once the stock confirms a breakout about 200 DMA. All right, so that's the view.